Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry here from Powerlifting. That website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today, oh yeah, before I before I forget, don't forget to check out the wrist strap. These are on the store. They have the, the PL wrist strap. They'll be edited like the logo will be anyway. I like it. It's very. It's the first in a series of like uh, gears. So I'm like, <laughs> I want to see what I want to see how this where this goes. Like where 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 it's at in like two years, three years, four years, ten years. I don't know. But um, well that's the plan anyway. But um, yeah. Don't forget to check these out in the store. Also check out the Black Book of Powerlifting and follow myself and the business on social media. All of those accounts are in the description below. Um, now. Today I'm doing a bench press FAQ. Four or five qu four questions on the bench press, and I know I switched up the intro a little bit, but um, yeah, I just had to get that out there. I really like this logo. <laughs> we'll have the lever belts coming in and the wrist uh, wraps coming in as well. But um, yeah, and these really help. Like the material is really is thick. They also have the foam right here, which is useful for uh, you know making sure they don't cut into your wrist. And yeah, they're really cool. I want to, you know, but I'm um, also, well, not also, but let's get into the video. First things first. Um, but first question is, why is it harder to bench press dumbbells than it is barbells? It's, the question ended at why is it harder to bench press dumbbells, but I'm filling in the blanks. Um, well, you know what's interesting, and I have a story for you guys. It's not in the answer, but I have a story for you guys. Um, I remember I was at work one time I used to be a beer merchandiser and I was a beer salesman but that's besides the point I was a merchandiser and I used to go into chain stores and I would always meet up with the other vendors and there was this one guy he was on a weight loss journey and he mentioned to me like hey I can't bench press but I can dumbbell press and I'm like bro what's impressive about that like that's what I'm thinking like, why are you telling me that and then I go into the gym and obviously I, my bench has been crap for a long 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 time but I go into the gym and I'm like, I start lifting with, I start lifting like I usually bench press, but then I started going to the dumbbells and I'm like, whoa, I realized how weak I was on like the left side of my body because my right hand is always using my, my, you know, I'm right handed. So, but I realized like that it, it, dumbbells really catch muscle and balances, like strength and balances. And then, you know, there's other, oh my God, I'm sorry. But then there's, you know, other, like, reasons as well. But I'm not a physician. I'm just telling you what I've noticed and why he made, thought it was a great an accomplishment. And it really is. If you can dumbbell, he said he could dumbbell press 100-pound dumbbells. And a flat bench dumbbell, incline dumbbell, that's crazy. Decline, I can do 95. So that's okay. I mean, I'm 160-something. So I think that's, you know, pretty cool. But that's, like, you know, that is was one of the reasons. That's why it's harder to bench press dumbbells. Uh, next question. And I also put a link to an article from, I think, mensjournal.com that talked about the reasons the differences between the two dumbbell and barbell next question how long did it take for muscle to build after a month or one month break from weight training now i saw a few things but the majority of the articles i saw said three and three to three and a half months that's what, how long it takes with proper nutrition for muscle to, to, to regain muscle mass um now i think that varies because i lost a lot of mass uh over the past few months well three months or four months ago and I gained all that back and lost all the fat I had. It, I'm not trying to brag, just saying, like, it, it varies with body type. I don't hold on to weight very easily at this age. I'm 21, so it's like I don't. But, again, all, it depends on you. I don't also don't gain weight. I also don't gain weight very easily, so that, you know. Next question. Can someone bench press 405 naturally? I've seen a guy. His name is Big Rob did it. Bench press 405 naturally, I'm pretty sure. I think he was taking, when he was in a cutting phase for his bodybuilding stint, he uh, he said he's taking testosterone boosters for strength. But that's a big dude, though. That dude's like six foot something, 300 pounds. Two, 250 plus easy. Like, dude's big. So, um, and he's benching 495. Um, next question, what is a respectable bench press? I think for intermediate lifters, 1.5 to 2 times your body weight. So, I guess that would be a respectable bench press. I would think if you're one like 190 and you're benching, I saw a dude, talk to a dude, he said he benches 370. If you're 190 and benching 370, then, you know, that's respectable to, in my eyes. But, um, 
yeah, there you have it. Don't forget to uh, like this video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel for, by hitting that red button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Alright, peace.